They say one day, one day, monkey go go market. He no go return. Every day for the thief. One day, surely not for the owner. Finally, my people, Ekelebe don't bab this guy. Where just they scam different ladies they go, including our Nollywood actress, Empress in Jama. Right now, in a celebration mode, now she day because they don't finally bab the guy. The guy now even from Liberia, my people, he name now Nicholas Jack Davis. Right now, I go to play the video. How they take Bob the guy. Even police talk say when they even Bob Bob, he was in another mission. He was about to gang another lady. They say now in work with that. They don't arrest her so many times. Anyway, make I not talk too much. Make I hear her from the horse's mouth. Please, guy, at the end of it, leave your comment, share this video. I just hope many ladies will learn from this. Our ladies make you wise, be smart. Bye, guys. Welcome here at the LP headquarters for this major press conference, which is going to be addressed by the police spokesperson, Mr. H. Moses Carver. Sorry, we're talking about Thank you so much. I want to use this time, as usual, to appreciate you, members of the press, for always availing yourself even at the 11th hour, for regular updates about progress made by this police administration in fighting crime and abuse. Today, we have invited you for briefings on a major achievement of the Liberia National Police. Our invitation today is on the basis of the arrest of a notorious scammer in person of Nicholas Jack Davis. Uh, some of you may be interested in wanting to know while, why he is referred in such description. Nicholas Jack Davis has been arrested by the police severally, investigated, charged, and forwarded to court. Fortunately, he comes out of the court, gets back into the community, and repeats same actions for which he was previously charged. Growing out of this, uh, specifically with regards to our current arrest, there have been several complaints filed or brought to our attention against Nicholas Jack Davis, 39 years old, of which Sister Davis has victimized several females over 20 victims, female victims. As a result, Nicola Jack Davis is involved with absconding with their personal effects, including phones, bags, gold, as well as other materials, expensive materials. And so, with the latest reports or complaints brought against Suspect Davis, 
we began a robust search operation of his whereabouts. And our search operation succeeded last night at the Miami Beach in Pinsville, where he was caught trying or attempting to victimize some other females. He was arrested between 9 to 10 o'clock of yesterday evening and brought at central headquarters here and is being investigated. Uh, there were prior information about Suspect Davis carrying out similar act in Nigeria where a female actress also fell victim of a scamming operation. Suspect Davis informed our investigators that he spent approximately 17 months in Nigeria prior to the commission of the act against the Nigerian female actress. This investigation is very serious. Abuse of any female is something that this administration does not take lightly, and I'm talking about this police administration. We can assure the public that we will do our utmost best in ensuring that those female victims will be served justice. We urge for calm, and if anyone has any information about other acts as being committed by suspect Davis, please do not hesitate to come at central headquarters up Capitol Hill to be able to register your complaint against this suspect. Like I told you, we already have over 20 female victims, Liberians, who have brought in their complaints, and those complaints are being documented to ensure that Suspect Davis doesn't go with impunity, but will be made to face the full weight of the law. So we urge for calm, we urge for cooperation, we urge the public to assist us with any available information useful to this investigation. And so, ladies and gentlemen, late yesterday evening, since uh, this morning at about 2 a.m., an incident occurred in Cinco, uh, somewhere around 15th Street, 24th Street, where a Chinese female, peace be to her arches, fell from a five-story building. And uh, she was rushed to the John F. Kennedy Medical Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Her remains is currently at the hospital. We have her husband here in our custody, one Yu Hao Yu. Yu Hao Yu, we definitely will give it to you, who is 43 years old and has been investigated by our team of investigators so as to establish what actually went wrong. Peace be to the arches of Wodan, a deceased female, Chinese female, 42 years old. The 
distinguished members of the press. We are also investigating a 60-year-old man, Stephen Yimler, for allegedly raping a 13-year-old female. Stephen Yimler is currently detained at our New Newcastle Police Station and is undergoing investigation. Details of said investigation will be made public. Distinguished members of the press, at this juncture, I would love you members of the press to take a zoom of such that Nicholas Davis. <laughs> Turn around to us. The fire here. The fire here. Just the fire here. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. What's this? Billy fire here. Yeah. Yeah. Just follow the process. Thank you. I'm not guilty yet, though. Yeah. No, nobody is preaching you guilty. That is alleged. Thank you so much. We can put this case together. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. So now, you have now the public now has a view of suspect Nicholas Jack Davis. And like we said, if anyone, any other victim has any issue against suspect Davis, please avail yourself at our central police headquarters so as to ensure that we can have your complaint filed. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I would love to use this press briefing to introduce to you our new Deputy Commissioner of Police for Crime Services. Deputy Commissioner Anthony T. Blay, affectionately referred to as Unit Triple One. He replaces Emmanuel Dodiriken, who is now our Commissioner of Police for CSD, Interpol and Intelligence. Affectionately called Authority. So, DCP Anthony Blay has worth of experience in criminal investigation. As a matter of fact, he just returned from international peacekeeping mission in Southern Sudan. While I mean, that's after which he was elevated to this position. The police administration has explicit confidence in his ability to deliver when it comes to criminal investigation based on his wealth of experience. So, DCB Blair, these are the journalists that in most cases, issues arising from their investigations that they are interested in. And he's a very flexible young man, you can have the opportunity most time. He's not a person that talks to media because he understands his SOP but uh, he's a flexible young man, very flexible. <laughs> it's a pleasure, brother. So at this juncture, I want to say thank you so much. If you have questions, we can take questions. And then after which, we can say, we can call it a day. Yes. Thank you. Um, yes. We need to back from this Africa. Yeah. So I'm very sure after his arrest, the question posed to him, what did he say negative 
Bro, involvement with the crime. So this is an ongoing investigation. Um, like I just informed you, the arrest was made last night. And so it's an ongoing investigation. However, we will continue to update you on the ongoing investigation. Yes. He has said nothing. You say? He has said nothing about his involvement. The investigation is ongoing. Yes. Um, my question has to do with in your briefing, you said that um, he's, he's a scammer. He takes property from him. But there have been other reports that he's been recording nude photos of female and posting it on social media. I would like to know the name of the Nigerian actress that was a victim. Well, for the benefit of, uh, you know, we have some who call uh, victims you know, protection. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to name anyone here. Is this sexual offense? So the allegations as brought against him are uh, range from sexual offense as well as uh, rob armed robbery, uh, extortion,